to testify in narrative form. Again, I'm, I'm not an expert attorney, so if I overstep my boundaries, it's not intentional. It's, it's okay, just we'll, we'll, to get to the we'll, we'll ride with you as much as possible on that, just I, as long as you follow our guidance. Go ahead, sir. We have a debate on whether it was February 4th or 14th. To me, it doesn't really matter. I was in McDonald's. I was having lunch. I was there for approximately 15 minutes. I observed Mr. Collion sit across from me for approximately 10 minutes watching me, staring at me, giving me whatever intimidating looks he can possibly think of. During this course of time, I've watched him do nothing but stare at me. I finished my lunch. It took approximately 10 minutes. Mr. Collion testified that he only was there for a minute watching me. The surveillance cameras will show you that he was there much longer than a minute. When I was done eating, I cleaned up. I was reading a newspaper. I picked up the newspaper and I walked back to the stand and I put it where I got it. I came back to the table. I picked up my wrappers. I went to the garbage can. At that moment, that's when Mr. Collion attempted to rob me and told me to give me his prop, give me your property, or I'm going to kick your ass. And I stood up for myself, and I defended myself, and I told Collion to go ahead and try it. And he continued to try to take my property from me, and he continued to threaten me. He picked a fight, he started the fight, and he escalated the fight. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what's in his head. I don't know why he did what he did. I don't know Mr. Collion. He's a large man. He was an angry, large man, threatening to take my property away from me, and if I didn't, he was going to kick my ass. I didn't have a choice. I stood up for myself. I defended myself against this man, and I told him to bring it on, and I would do it again. There's a difference between causing a disturbance and defending yourself. And every day when somebody has to defend themselves, they do it any way they can. I use my verbal commands and I let everybody know in McDonald's, this man's attacking me. And I said it several times. This man's attacking me. These people were telling me to calm down. I simply told them, this man's attacking me. I had no other choice, and I left. Later on, much later on, I find out that he's telling these stories that I'm videotaping children. And then I got to deal with other people who spread those rumors around too. He wants to say that he's offended because he's a father. I'm a father, I'm a grandfather. There were no new children in McDonald's. Nobody was videotaping anybody. Simply was walking around minding my own business, eating my lunch. And a very large man confronted me, threatened me, and told me he was going to kick my ass. I did what I had to do. Period. And I left. Okay. Anything? You may, you may continue. I, I know there's things that you wanted to saying well this is a common problem where the victim is blamed for causing the problem when you look at the facts you can look at the videos you can tell that mr collion was there for at least 10 minutes before i finished my lunch and you can see through the video i wasn't videotaping anybody i was simply cleaning up my mess that's it that doesn't give anybody a right to confront somebody and start threatening to kick their ass, or I'm going to take this, or I'm going to take that. I don't know Mr. Collion, but he's a large, angry man. I feared for my safety, so I told him off. 
And I continued to tell him off as he continued to attack me. Period. Nobody stepped in, nobody stopped anything, and there was at least 12 to 15 people just standing there. Period. I didn't ask anybody to help me, and I don't need anybody's help. I didn't have a problem, Mr. Collion. If you wanted to step outside, I'd step outside. I don't want anybody, uh, especially kids, watch anything that's about to happen. I am a concealed carry, and I carry all the time. And I was carrying that day, openly carrying knives as well as guns. I carry all the time. And the reason why I carry is for defense, period. I don't attack people because they're walking around with some camera or some phone in their hand. That's crazy. Millions of people do it 100,000 times a minute. I've never once ever confronted somebody because they got a camera in their hand or a phone in their hand or I think they're doing something. That takes a lot of very irresponsible behavior as far as I'm concerned. I don't know Mr. Collion. Maybe he's on medication or maybe he should be on medication. There's a lot of things that go through your mind at this time. But there's one thing I know. He's nuts. And he attacked me. And he threatened me. And he tried to steal my property. So I stood up for myself. I let him know. Not today. I don't care if he's on crack, cocaine, or whatever his problem is. But I ain't giving up any of my property. And I told him to come on and try. Talk about whether it's constitutional right or state law, but I have every right to defend myself. I said it before and I'll say it again. He attacked me. Okay. Thank you, sir. And Thank I will you. be filing complaints against him about that attack, an attempt of robbery, an assault and battery. Thank you, sir. Ms. Eislin, do you have cross-examination? Just a couple of questions, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, Mr. LaHoche, you said you feared for your safety. Um, and I think previously you also said that you admitted carrying a cell phone at the time. And yet it's true, is it not, that you didn't call the police? I stated I had a cell phone. I did not say I had one on me. And you're right, I did not call the police. So I... You're stating that you didn't have a cell phone in your pocket? That's correct. Do you have anyone um, that heard Mr. Uh, Mr. Calderon threaten you, threaten to, to beat you up? Yes, yeah, several of the witnesses testified. No, Mr. That. Uh, counsel, Mr. Calderon himself admitted that. Okay. So, did excuse me, I'll, str I'll strike that. <laughs> it's, okay. um, it's late in the day. It is late in the day. 